The Syrian government delegation arriving for the latest round of talks. This the first time the most difficult item of political transition has been on the agenda. Their position remains uncompromising. While the media and the so-called opposition talking about President Assad and talking about what they call the regime, our country has been destroyed, our factories, our schools, our hospitals, our people. We have six million displaced Syrians. No. Why doesn't President Assad, for the good of his nation, for the good of his people, step aside and someone else take power? Excuse me. And you He's know had, the Assad family have had power for 44 me. years. Maybe you that's know, long enough. You know the good for his nation or the Syrian people know the, what is good for them. We are 10,000 years old. We know what's good for us. When the two sides met, it was a stormy meeting. The Syrian government produced this paper on transition. It is a new document, but it has nothing new in it. From the Syrian government's side, conditions rather than any concessions. It's not just on transition where there is deadlock. The opposition doesn't trust an offer from the government to let women and children leave the old city of Homs. Worries are there because we have previously uh, previous experience. You know, it was it was in Maddamiya, for example. There there were people were allowed out. So that was a few months ago, but uh, there were many uh, boys and men. They got kidnapped by the regime once they are out of the of the city. Uh, we don't trust them. On Sunday, the media were told a humanitarian deal in Homs was one small breakthrough for these talks. But now that issue, just like all the others, remains deadlocked. James Bayes, Al Jazeera, Geneva.